Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another complex number lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to add and subtract complex numbers, which is going to be really fun, hopefully. So let's firstly define some complex numbers. So I'm going to have complex number one, Z1, which I'm going to make it equal six plus uh, 2i. And then I'm going to have Z2, which I'm going to make it equal uh, three minus 5i. Okay, now adding complex numbers. Here I have two complex numbers, z1 and z2, and we're going to add them together. So I have z1 plus z2 equals. And then all you have to do is substitute the complex numbers in the place of these variables so I'm gonna put 6 plus 2i where z1 is and then I'm gonna put 3 minus 5i where z2 is notice how I'm putting z2 inside brackets okay uh, because Right now I have a plus in the middle so it doesn't really make any difference so I can get rid of the brackets. Okay and then I'm just gonna simplify it using like terms. So 6 plus 3 is 9, 2i minus 5i is negative 3i. And that's the answer for adding complex numbers. Now, what does this mean when we uh, do a graph? So let's have a look using GeoGebra. So the first complex number we have is 6 plus 2i. So let's draw that on our little graph. So you can see here I have just drawn 6 plus 2i onto the graph, 6 for the real number plane which is the x-axis and 2 for the imaginary plane which is the y-axis and then I'm also going to draw 3 minus 5i onto the graph so I have 3 as the uh, real axis and negative 5 as the imaginary and now if I put uh, z underscore 1 uh, plus z underscore 2 let's see if GeoGebra will add them for me and GeoGebra has added them for me and you can see that the answer is the same as what I have which is 9 minus 3i so well done GeoGebra or should I say well done to myself and to you guys of course because you're watching okay so let's have a look at how Z3 can be determined from Z1 plus Z2 using the graphs alone well you can see Z1 has an X corner of 6 and Z2 has an X corner of 3 so really what's happened is we added the X coordinates so we added the x coordinates so we have the real number plane of the real part of z1 plus the real part of z2 which is 6 plus 3 which is 9 so we've added the real part of both of these dots and now let's try adding the imaginary part. So the imaginary part of Z1 is 2, 
right? Because vertically it's situated at 2. And the imaginary part of Z2 is negative 5. So if we do imaginary part of Z1 plus imaginary part of Z2, then I'm just going to get uh, 2 plus negative 5, which is negative 3. Now have a look at where our dot z3 dot is situated negative 3 for y-axis so therefore when you're adding two complex numbers together all you're doing is you're adding the x coordinates together which will give you the x coordinate for the result and you're adding the y coordinates together which will give you the y coordinate of the result com complex number and you guessed it, minus is exactly the same. So I'm just going to show you guys minus using a different color. So if I do, let me draw a little boundary line. If I do Z1 minus Z2, and that's going to be 6 plus 2i minus now the bracket becomes very important when you're taking away so I have 6 plus 2i now remember to expand because we have a negative 1 in front of the bracket so negative times 3 is negative 3 negative times negative is positive 5i and now the answer is 6 minus 3, which is 3, 2 plus 5, which is 7. So it's 3 plus 7i. Now let's check with GeoGebra just to make sure we have the right answer. So I'm going to go type in Z1 minus Z2. And the answer is 3 plus 7i, which is what I have. So we have it correct. And now let's check that the x-coordinate, so the real part of Z1, which is the x-coordinate of Z1, is 6, minus the real part of Z2, which is uh, 3. So we have 6 minus 3, which is 3 and have a look at our uh, Z4 which comes from Z1 minus Z2 the X corner is 3 and the Y corner is equal to so the imaginary part of Z1 minus the imaginary part of Z2 which is equal to uh, 2 minus uh, Z2 has an imaginary part of negative 5, so 2 minus negative 5, which is 2 plus 5, which is 7. And have a look at GeoGebra, and the answer is indeed 7 for the Y corner of Z4. So what that means is when you are taking away or subtracting complex numbers, all you have to do is you minus the x coordinate from one another and you also minus the y coordinates from one another okay thanks for watching the tutorial on how to add and subtract complex numbers see you guys next time